Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Vancouver Island Bushcraft. Uh, a big welcome to all the new subscribers, uh, almost 15 subscribers since Christmas, and uh, welcome to the channel. I hope you have uh, a great year, and uh, I hope uh, I can show you a bunch of stuff uh, that can help you with your bushcraft experience. Um, today, uh, I went out yesterday to the bivouac. I, did, I didn't take you guys along. It was uh, New Year's Day, and I just wanted to, you know, just relax and have some coffee and, uh, you know, do my thing there at the bivouac. So I didn't include you guys this time, which I normally do. But um, there is something I thought about that I wanted to put out there for you guys. Um, whenever I'm watching the YouTube bushcraft stuff, which I watch all the time because I love the, the different channels, um, I noticed that there is a bit of a lack of... Um, pots and pans and stuff like that. And I'm thinking people are probably doing that to minimize the amount of stuff in their packs because they can only hold so much. So I just wanted to put it out there in case somebody hasn't thought of it. Um, well, here's my pack here. I'm just going to show you. I'm going to bring you around. This is my pack here. So it's not that big. Like this is my forearm here. It's just to give you an idea of the size of the pack. It's, it's a pretty small pack. This is the pack that I'd keep with me when I go to the bivouac or when I go on a hike. This is what I have on me. Now, in this pack, um, as you guys saw with the pretending I'm lost in the woods thing, this pack has everything you can imagine that you need uh, to survive in the woods without any issue whatsoever. But one of the things that changes it from just a survival pack to a pack that allows you to do pretty much anything at a campsite and not kind of suffer is the pots, the pans, the kettle, and all that kind of stuff. And you're thinking, well, if you take all that stuff, you need a really big pack. So come take a look at how I've got this set up. It's actually kind of organized for me. That's amazing. Okay, so here's the pack here. And if you look at it, literally there's a water bottle here. And then I have um, a container, a container, and a container. This is a, a pot, a kettle, and another larger cup. And it can also be used as a pot. And then another cup here. So when I'm... Um, at the bivouac, I can have tea hang this up on the on the chain. Uh, the pot is here. It's a big enough pot that I can cook pretty much anything I want to on it. And I have enough cups and other pots to uh, make the experience of cooking fun as opposed to, you know, a pain in the butt. And then you can see it's only this thick. And these things take up about this much of the space. Now on the bottom here, I have all the flat stuff. So I have my... Um, my pad that I, um, I sit on, I have my cutting board, I have my silky saw, and I also have a grill. I have my heat, that really crappy heat, or um, wind reflector, and a glove. So it's all the flat stuff. So it only takes up this much room all on the bottom, uh, the grail, of course. Um, and then I have all these containers. Now, if you take a look at the containers, I'm going to put you down right here. Okay, so container number one. This may take a lot of room, but all the stuff that would normally, that, that space that it would normally take up, I put stuff in the pot so that it really doesn't take up any space at all because I'm utilizing the entire inside. I have a, a lighter fire kit and some food pots in this one. And then the kettle, same thing. This is a fairly large kettle, takes up a lot of room, but if you open it up, inside I have a cup which is usually filled with uh, sugar products. And then inside I have all my coffee stuff, which would take up almost all of this room with the cup anyway. So it's not really taking up more room because I'm utilizing the entire inside. And then the next one, just a normal cup. So now I have two cups if I have somebody with me. And again, it's filled with pepper and garlic and a jute twine and a lighter. Totally filled, not taking up any more space whatsoever. Same with this one here. This one here, it's a nice titanium cup with a bale and it's got the handles and everything. And you think, okay, well this is taking up a lot of room too. But if you open it up, I have in here Bovro packs, a stove, and my fuel. So in here is all this stuff. So if I was to take all of this out and put this in my backpack, my backpack would be full just as if I didn't have any containers. But 
The difference in bushcrafting when you're out there, even if you're doing sort of a survival thing like I did when I pretended I was lost and I just had the backpack, I've got like all my pots hanging and I've got uh, things cooking and I can, um, you know, have the different cups I can drink out of if I want like a coffee or if I want just a whatever. And literally this filled up takes no more room than if I had no pots and pans and filled this up anyway. So just a thought, if you haven't thought of that and you're always bringing just like one pot um, and you're just trying to do everything in one pot because you want to save room, see if the stuff in your backpack will fit in those pots and pans and cups and stuff and have exactly the same um, dimensions. And weight wise, I mean, two titanium cups, a stainless steel pot and a stainless steel kettle. I mean, how much can that weigh, seriously? Um, and that just adds to the non um, non survival sort of thing. This way you can just enjoy yourself out there and not have anything, um, I don't have a big backpack. So just a thought process. Um, I thought of that uh, yesterday actually and I wanted to put it out there in case some of you guys haven't thought of just having enough kitchen utensils that you can actually just cook and have a good time without trying to do everything in one pot. Anyway, talk to you later. Have a good day. Remember to subscribe, share, like, and all that kind of fun stuff. And uh, you guys have a great day.